you, Physique Freaks. How's it going? Scott Tuzan on MetabolicMasterpiece.com coming at you with a brutal leg workout to build an aesthetic physique. We're going to begin this workout by performing the leg extension. We're aiming for 8 to 10 reps, and this time we're going to be holding it for 5 seconds in the contracted state there really using this as an opportunity to enhance that mind muscle connection really get playful with steering that neural drive uh, when you're naturally just going through the leg extension with a normal tempo it can be easy just to feel the load feel the tension in the mid and upper thighs and of course you're gonna get a burn in that um, teardrop area towards the end but I find with uh, with this five second hold at the top each rep or even during that five second hold you can steer that tension towards the vastus medialis the teardrop area you can kind of steer the tension towards the vastus lateralis like the lower aspect on the outer quad sweep there a lot of it is just learning to relax certain aspects kind of relax the upper hip area and just feel that load kind of shift the tension towards the lower aspect of the quads I know this is an area that's been kind of lagging for me in the past and it's been building up really really well simply by enhancing that mind muscle connection so you're gonna do three sets of this 8 to 10 reps and uh, resting 90 seconds between sets. And we're gonna move on to the leg press. Here we're gonna be performing eight sets of eight. So it's gonna be a lighter load than what you would typically use. This is our first week in this phase. I've got 270 pounds on, uh, on the stack here, which is uh, a fair amount lighter. I say cut almost half, like 50 to 60% of what I would normally do for eight repetitions. Um, and this first set is going to be, actually the first two to three sets are going to be relatively easy. This felt like a piece of cake. Eight reps on this. It is a nice, slow, controlled movement. You really want to feel the tension in the quads. And um, the range of motion, I mean, you're just working with a range of motion where you can maintain that tension in the quads. You get around a little bit too deep. Um, it's going to shift to the hips, to the glutes a bit. Not bad having it uh, the emphasis on the glutes, but I find for this, me personally, I just really want to feel it in the quads alone. So nice controlled movement, just working within that range of motion, right about 90 degree angle where I'm able to maintain that tension in the thighs, more specifically for me, the lower aspect of the thighs. So second set surprised me. Like first set felt crazy easy. Second set, I was like, wow, like it, it started to come on. I started feeling a little bit of that burn towards the end. Third set, it's gonna get a little bit tougher. We're just resting for 15 seconds between sets. That time flies by real quick. I'm just kind of counting um, some nice relaxed breaths in my head. I don't have a stopwatch on me, so it's pretty darn close to the 15 second mark. And for me personally, like this workout, I'm trying to hit the, the quads, and um, so I'm placing my feet a little lower on the platform, keeping them fairly close together, both shoulder width, maybe just a little bit closer than shoulder width apart. Uh, for me personally, I find that I'm able to feel a lot more tension in the quads in this position. The leg press is a quad dominant movement. Uh, the quadriceps are going to be greatly involved no matter what foot position, uh, no matter where you place your feet on this platform, but I find by placing the feet up higher, uh, I can get a little more activation of the glutes. Uh, and the hamstrings a bit. If I put my feet out nice and wide, toes pointing out, uh, I can feel the hamstrings a little bit more, glutes a little bit more, um, inner thighs a little bit more. Um, some of the research out there, some of the EMG studies don't show any greater activation of the inner thighs when your feet are wide apart, toes out on the leg press. Um, I find that really interesting because the tension in my inner thighs is uh, ridiculous when I go feet out wide and toes pointing out. So I'd like to see a little bit more research on that. As we're progressing here on the set, so after the fourth set, things are really starting to 
get tough. Like the last two to three reps of each set from here on out um, get to be pretty damn brutal. Um, <laughs> the burning sensation really kicks in. As you see, I'm starting to I'm starting to grimace a little bit at this point in, during my rest periods. My heart is starting to pump a bit more. Um, my lungs, I'm starting to suck wind a little bit more. Uh, it gets to be pretty darn demanding, especially the last two to three sets here. And again, I'm trying to maintain the same tempo all the way throughout, same rest period all the way throughout. And it's kind of really, I, I find it's great. It's kind of nice to ease into it. The first few sets feeling relatively easy and then the burning sensation really kicking in, getting tougher and tougher with each set. Just a, a nice little progression. I used to use eight sets of eight a lot more. Now I just kind of sprinkle it in every few months, probably every four months I'll throw in an exercise uh, for each body part where I work in this eight set of eight protocol, uh, popularized by a classic physique artist, Vince Garanda. And here we go, definitely tougher. This set, we're approaching the end of this eight set of eight for the leg press. This seventh set was starting to get pretty excruciating. And uh, ideally with eight sets of eight, you wanna be able to, like I said, maintain the same tempo, maintain the same rest period, keeping the weight the same. And you wanna to get to that eighth rep of the eighth set and be spent. Basically, you want to be able to make it there, but you don't want to have much left in the tank, if anything, at all. Uh, this being the first week, this felt just a little bit light for me, so next week I'm going to add a 25-pounder on each side, so an extra 50 pounds. That would put me to so 270, so that would be 320 pounds. I have a feeling by the fourth week progression here, um, I should have four plates on each side. And again, that's how I'm going to progress it by increasing the weight, keeping the rest period the same at 15 seconds, tempo the same, and everything like that. So this was tough, really challenging towards the end here, uh, but felt fan freaking fantastic. Now we're going to move on to the leg curl, eight to 10 reps. Once again, this is, uh, we're going to be um, holding that squeeze, holding the contraction for five seconds. Weight selection is going to be a little tricky here, um, a little bit lighter than normal. You want to get into that full contracted state and really be able to hold it there the entire time. What I found was I tried uh, 10 pounds heavier. Actually, first I started 20 pounds heavier than this, and I just couldn't, I couldn't squeeze all the way back and hold that squeeze. So I just tried 10 pounds heavier than where I'm at right here, and it still was challenging. This felt really good, it felt perfect. I was able to get a really good contraction. Gotta be careful, those hammies may wanna cramp up on you here. It's really, really tough. Um, and then for my third set, I tried uh, five pounds heavier than this and it was still too tough. So it, I found the perfect weight here. It's a little trial and error, but you wanna really make sure you get eight to 10 reps. You're able to hold the full contraction for five seconds, get your eight to 10 reps in there. Um, we'll be repeating this for a total of three sets. 90 seconds rest between sets. This is going to enhance that mind-muscle connection for your hamstrings, which is going to carry over to the conventional deadlift here. This is our second month in a row where we've been performing the conventional deadlift. I like to go in two-month phases. So um, I do have a new program every four weeks. And so two programs in a row, I'll do conventional deadlift, two programs in a row, I'll do the sumo deadlift, and then two phases, I'll do the trap bar deadlift. I find they all feed off of each other. That's going to be a topic for another video. Um, for the conventional deadlift, I don't like to go too heavy. Uh, I find that it takes away from the tension in my hamstring, steers it a little bit more towards my spinal erectors. Um, so just keeping it relatively light and aiming for 8 to 10 reps really squeezing those glutes, feeling great tension in the hamstring. So three sets there, eight to 10 reps, two minutes rest between sets. We're gonna finish off this leg workout with the reverse barbell lunge. And we're aiming for eight to 10 reps here on the initial activation set. This is a rest pause set. Um, so you're gonna aim for eight to 10 reps each leg, alternating legs, so a dynamic movement here. And uh, you're gonna rack it up. Just take a couple deep breaths, no more than 10 seconds rest, get right under the bar, and do as many more reps 
per leg as you can. I'm pretty happy with balance wise here. Normally I haven't done barbell reverse lunges in a few months and um, normally the first time I get at her uh, my balance is a little bit tricky. I really like to make sure that I set that foot before I lower myself down. Um, but this is not it. I nailed it right away. Balance felt really good. So incorporating some single limb movements um, throughout our aesthetic muscle plan from phase to phase has really kind of strengthened any of the weak points in my muscles. I, well, I would have uh, from time to time, like in the beginning, I'd feel uh, that there was a weakness in my adductors on one leg and adductor on the other leg. And it's all kind of... Um, really balanced out quite well. I'm really happy with how I've been performing this movement. Again, nice and controlled. 8 to 10 reps is second some pretty good win there. I, I may have had one more rep in me, but just a short rest here. I'm going to do as many more reps per leg as I can. Then you'll rest for 90 seconds and repeat this again two more times for a total of three sets. Well, really, it's a total of six sets if you're separating kind of those rest pause there. Great workout, experiencing some fantastic doms the day after. Glutes were killing me here on this exercise, as were the hamstrings. Hope you enjoy this workout. Would love to hear your feedback. Keep kicking some butt. Sculpt a masterpiece.